Without electricity, there would be no festival. Hello, I'm Paul Jarvis. I'm a site electrician for Powerline. I'm looking after a team of four electricians on this site and we, we provide power for everybody who wants it and needs it and some for those who don't. We do try and make this job look as easy as possible but actually it's really quite difficult. A waterproof lead on the ground and the job's done. My name's Kev, I'm one of the site electricians. We bring all the generators, the power, uh, the diesel and all the cables to run and power the event for the, the time that we're here and production are here and of course for the three days of the event itself. Each one of these is 250 kVA generators and we link them together and there's a communications cable between them so that if one of them is struggling the other one picks up the load and it balances an even load and distributes the power into this smaller box which is a sub-distribution which then comes back out of here into here and then we can pipe all the power in separate distributions off from there according to to what the requirements are. They're the end user of our electricity, the lights. They use loads of power. They, get, they munch it up like nobody's business. But they're getting better. As the lights go LED, they use less power. And the noise boys, for some reason, their boxes have got smaller, but they need more power. So it's about the same amount of power as it always has been, but they're just shifting it about differently between the pairs of them. You know, they like to compete with each other, the noise boys and lampies. You'll find that later. How do they plan for the festival? On an organised festival like this, we, we get the information ahead. Um, we know what power, what distribution is required. And we're providing some 63 amp three phase to lighting and um, 32 amp three phase to sound. Um, and that is, is the main requirement. The stage is very easy to power. Go for power line. Um, we know a location for Kev. Uh, the film crew want to film him again, mate. There's an isolator switch inside, so I have to switch that on. Which basically saves the batteries from draining. The generator is the power station on site. The reason we have two generators on a, on a main stage is if one does fail, then the communications cable will send that information to the second generator and that will kick in and carry the load and, um, and basically save the show. With, uh, you don't want both your generators going down, so we always use a backup. Yeah, here we are, this is it. This is an FG Wilson 200 kVA, powered by a Scania power unit, which lives inside these great big baffled doors. There it is. It's a hell of a lump. You wouldn't want one of those in your van. You wouldn't go very quickly at all. So you've got all this grunt and muscle in here that drives the drive shaft that goes into here which in here you've got three pickups on your, on your alternator, so it's pretty much the same as a motor in reverse. So basically it spins around and creates electricity off three points. Here, this is where it, it gets distributed, broken down into smaller usable bits of electricity. So 400 amps a phase there, 63 amps a phase there, 32 amps a phase there, and 16 amps single phases there. So So shut the doors and it's all all right. But the electrician's job isn't over when the festival starts. For them, the hard work is just beginning. We're backstage here now at Green Man. This is, um, we're in the crew camping area. Just here next to it, we've got a four and a half thousand litre bunded tank. That's where we store our diesel. So uh, since we've been here, I've already had two diesel deliveries with a big tanker. So that's where we store it. But it ain't no good there, because my generators are everywhere, they're all over the place. So um, what I basically do is we have one of these. This is our fuel bowser. It's a 1,000 litre mobile petrol station, if you like. It's got a small 12 volt pump on it, nozzle, counter, so we know how much fuel's gone. Uh, we now have to zip around site and uh, fuel up a few little bits and bobs on the perimeters, the little sets mainly, because they seem to eat more fuel. And then when it's quiet, first thing in the morning, we'll go onto the main um, entertainment site and fuel the sets there. Some of the generators are causing problems. Yeah, lots of them have, uh, lots of them have gone a bit funny. Uh, this one's broken. 
And there's all sorts of things that can cause a fault in generators. I mean, we suspected that it was Dickie Diesel in there from uh, the last job where apparently they got a dirty diesel delivery. Um, that can cause the engine to clog and stop. Um, other things that cause them to go off is if they're overloaded. There's all sorts of little things running out of diesel is a classic for generators stopping. Yeah, there's all, there's, it's the same as all things, there's a myriad of problems that it could be, but you always have to start with the obvious first. Avanti!